Hey, what is up, YouTubers? It's Cody Carpenter here from the YouTube channel Cody Knows. If you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, smack that subscribe button and that notification bell to stay up to date with all my future videos. And in this video, I'm going to show you a full tutorial on how to use redirect pages with Facebook ads. So you might be thinking, what the heck are redirect pages? Well, these pages are blank pages that you can use to track certain events with Facebook ads, and it only requires one simple line of code. So why are these pages important? If the offer you're promoting on Facebook ads does not allow pixel placement, you can use these redirect pages to track other events such as a lead. And by doing this, you'll now be able to choose a conversion objective when creating your campaign and have Facebook optimize the campaign for leads. And this is like super advanced stuff and it's super powerful. So instead of optimizing for landing page views, you're actually telling Facebook to try to show your ads to the people most likely to click through your landing page, not land on your landing page. And I can't stress it enough how important this little simple redirect page is when you're setting up your affiliate campaigns for offers that do not allow pixel placement. So you might be thinking, what's the code? I'm not a coder or anything. Well, it's literally just a simple meta refresh code. It's one line and all you have to do is change the um, enter your affiliate link.com with your affiliate link for the offer that you are promoting. So now I'll show you a full redirect page setup. So in this example, let's assume I'm setting up an auto loan campaign for a max bounty offer that does not allow pixel placement. So I'll get into this in-depth tutorial right now. Okay, so here we are. And before I go into editing the landing pages or anything, I'm just gonna do a brief overview. So here's your Facebook ad. You know, let's say you're running an image ad and you got apply now for an auto loan offer, you got some text. So this is the FB ad. And then you send them to a very simple landing page. You know, I might say get approved for an auto loan now. You could even have like a little quiz questionnaire in here or just a button to have some more content down here. On this page, you're obviously gonna be wanting to track your LP views. Oh shit, LP views. Handwriting's terrible today. <laughs> And then instead of sending them directly to the offer that doesn't allow pixel placement, like if you did it that way, the only thing you, you could tell Facebook to optimize for would be landing page views. I mean, that's okay, but it's not as good as it could be. So instead, we're gonna set up a simple redirect page, a blank page that has a pixel on it. It's got a pixel and it, for example, it could be a lead pixel. And all it is, you just enter in a little bit of code in the background of the page. The code will take one second to refresh and then send them to the affiliate offer. And if we're doing car loans, it'd look like something like this. It could be like a lead gen offer. Because this affiliate offer doesn't allow pixel placement, we wanna tell Facebook to show our ads to the people who are most likely to get the furthest along on the funnel. So by not having this redirect page, like I said, you could only do landing page views. But by adding in this one second redirect, we want to tell Facebook to show people that are the most likely to go from or click on our ad and then go to our landing page and click on our landing page call to action to end up on this redirect page. So optimizing for leads over page views is huge. So now I'll show you a full example on how I would go about setting this up. So here I am in ClickFunnels. I got a simple landing page built out. Um, I got the domain Simple Auto USA because inside of our 4S affiliates course. Um, I showed you example, and this was the domain that I set up for those examples, so I just figured I'd use it now. But this is what the simple landing page looks like. Get approved for an auto loan today, see if you qualify. Do you live in the US? Like this is a simple quiz lander, and these work so freaking good uh, with Facebook ads because quiz landing pages allow the users to get interacted with you and they form micro commitments. Every time they answer a quiz question, they're gonna be more likely to take action on the affiliate offer. I'd have to say like 80 to 90% of the landing pages that I do um, on Facebook ads involve quiz questionnaires. So just uh, very simple stuff down here. And uh, once they click through the quiz, we want them to go to the redirect page. And this is where we're gonna be tracking the lead. So before I go into this any further, I'm gonna show you, I got an example pixel set up, and this is how I track my page views. This pixel ID is just an example, it's one, two, three, four, all the way up to 12, but you'd wanna have your own 15 digit unique pixel ID 
for whatever ad account you're using and place it in here and then in here and then we're tracking page view page view so i would come and paste in oh god that's being weird today okay i'd copy this and then i'd come and enter this into the tracking code section of my first landing page so settings tracking code and then i'll just paste that in there i'd click off and hit save and then i'd come and hit preview and as you can see the pixel set up properly pixel id for one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and it's tracking page view so that's really good we got that all set up so we got the page view and now what we have to do is set up the lead pixel on the redirect page because once they answer these uh, quiz questions on the landing page they'll go to this redirect page so now I'm just gonna click edit page and then um, right in here for tracking code I'm gonna paste that same oops it's already pasted but I'm just gonna paste that same uh, page view pixel and all you got to do is just where it says FB uh, track instead of tracking page views we want to track leads so just type in lead and then you're not done yet because you got your ID down here make sure it's the same and yours is gonna be unique it's not this and then the event down here we don't want to do page view we want to do lead so I'm gonna click off and save and we don't have anything in this custom JavaScript yet. So I'm going to save one more time and then I'm going to preview this to show you um, that the lead pixel will fire. So we got it up here. So pixel ID 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we're tracking lead. So that's good. Everything's set up there. Now what we've got to do is enter in that meta, uh, that meta refresh code. So I'm just going to go like this and come into custom JavaScript, open code editor. And then I'll just paste that in there. And then right here where it says enter your affiliate link.com, we're promoting max bounty. So it'd be something like, um, I'm just gonna do an example. Max bounty affiliate link. And then you could add like sub IDs and stuff like that. I'm not gonna go too far into that because I'm, I'm sure you guys know how to find your max bounty affiliate link for the offer you wanna promote or whatever network that you're using. I just like to use max bounty for examples because they're really easy to get into. So you would enter that in and then people would go from the landing page to this redirect page and then they'll have one second on this page and that'll give us enough time to fire that lead pixel and then they'll be redirected to the max bounty affiliate link. So I'm gonna save and I'm gonna come down here and we're not done yet because we need to take this redirect um, URL, come into LP1, edit page now I'll click into my survey, edit survey options, and this is just a basic two question survey. I would do outcomes, default outcome action, and then it'd be loading, then page redirect. And then I'd wanna send them to this page right here, which is Simple Auto USA Finding Auto Loans. This is our redirect page. So I'm gonna click off, save. So now when people go to our landing page, they're gonna go through that simple two question quiz and then once they complete or once they answer both of those questions we just set up that they're going to go to our redirect page and we just placed that lead pixel in that and it's going to be one second one second and then offer and this would be the max bounty offer that didn't allow pixel placement on the thank you page but that's okay because we're tracking leads on the redirect page so that's how simple it is to track leads using a simple redirect page and being able to optimize for these leads, oops, being able to tell Facebook, show our ads to the people most likely to get to this step in our funnel. And I'm telling you guys, this is huge. And in my um, 4S affiliate system, and obviously 4S is a spy swipe split scale. Those are just four of the pillars. There's, there is 12 modules. But inside this, I also show you how to track your landing page split test and track on the redirect pages too. And I have done for you templates that you can use for this. It might seem a little complicated, but I give you the landing pages that I've spent years and thousands of thousands of dollars on testing and finding what works. Like I give you that. And then if we were doing like a landing page split test, it would be like this. We'd create a variation and then we would have a V1 go to redirect one. And then we'd have our V2 variation go to redirect two and then we'd be able to track uh, which landing page resulted in the sale by using simple sub ID tracking. So that's just uh, more of an advanced landing page setup and I give you done for you templates on how to do that. But anyways, that's how simple it is to track 
leads using redirect pages. A lot of you have been asking how you should set up your campaigns if the offer you're promoting doesn't allow pixel placement and this is the best way to do it. So I hope you enjoyed this video on how to use redirect pages when using Facebook ads to promote affiliate offers. If you got some value, make sure to like this video, comment if you have any questions, I'm super fast to get back to you guys. And lastly, smack that subscribe button and that notification bell to stay up to date with all my future videos, and I will see you in the next one. Peace!